It's me. You've seen it before. Draft, not ranked. Draft, Dominaria. You've seen me go 0 3. You've seen me go 1 3, 2 3, 3 3, 4 3. But you haven't seen me go 7 and 3. That's the problem. They implemented ranked, draft, Dominaria. Dominant, Dominaria, Dominaria. It's finally been implemented. So, what that means for us is every win matters. Both negatively and positively. Because if we go 0 3 every single time, we're going to play against people that also tend to go 0 3. So, that makes for better content because that means your boy is going to be winning. He's going to stay winning here with Eddie Murphy. And uh, what does she look like? Kind of like Ashley Olsen a little bit. And this, this is The Rock. The Rock Johnson. Who would have thought this cast, this ensemble of the new magic movie, Eddie Murphy, Dwayne The Rock, I was going to say John, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and Ashley Olsen. Oh, why not Mary Kate? No, there's a slight difference. One of them is in the movie and one of them is not. All right, let's get right in there. Lich. Lich is mastery. You can't lose the game. Whenever you gain life, draw that many cards. Whenever you lose life, for each one life you lost, exile a permanent you control or a card from your hand or graveyard. When Lich is mastery... I'm gonna be honest. This seems not like... You know, it seems cool. It seems a little nerve-wracking, though. How... Okay, so how would it leave the battlefield if it's hexproof? That's a good question. Whenever I lose life, I have to exile. Whenever I gain life, I draw that many cards. I'm going to have to say no on that one. However, Rona. Whenever Rona, Disciple of Gix, enters the battlefield, you may exile target historic card from your graveyard. You may cast non-land cards exiled with Rona. Okay. So you can cast... Historic card. So it, historic means legendary artifacts, legendary, and sagas. Okay, there's some pretty good blue sagas, I believe, in this. So you know what? Let's roll with it. But that doesn't remember. Donut, donut, force colors. If we find other cards that are good, like Meridwin, the nurturer. Whenever another elf enters, put a one-one counter. You know, this could be pretty good. But let's see. If we are doing black and black and blue and red all over. Tyler Jacobson, I like the name. Got Jacob in it. But you're not my son. I make sure to wrap the strap. With the top three cards of your library, put two of them in your hand to the other in the graveyard. Deals two damage. This card's pretty good. This card's like actually really good. Enchant permanent has hexproof. When it leaves, if it's historic, draw two cards. Okay, this seems good with the historic stuff. Are we going to take Marwin though? Elf Druid. Sure. We'll take it. And we'll see how it goes. Divination. So obviously at this point, I'm kind of like... Let's try to run with one of these. Triumph of Gerard. Put a 1-1 one, one creature with the target highest power. Target creature you control against... F okay. That seems alright. Artifact creature. Put a 1-1 one, one tar... Okay. Actually, this seems pretty good. Let's take it. What was that noise? When it enters the battlefield, scry one. That seems okay. Opt. Are we going to run the blue man crew? What about demonic vigor? Nah, nah, nah. Let's take opt. Seems like we might be doing blues. Elf archer. Mm. It is an elf. Each player draws a card. Create two. Man, you really doing this to me, huh? Tap. I I like Dredge Sentinel. All right, let's let's commit now. Artificers. Okay, this seems good with what we want, right? Actually, wasn't Navigator's Compass good? I should probably read these cards. Cast an instant or sorcery, drudge sentinel, rat colony. <laughs> I love rats. Not in real life. 
Permanent you control. Okay, rescue. That seems all right. Do we take another Drudge Sentinel? I don't know about that one. I don't know. Whenever you... Oh! Absolutely. Give me give me Lingering Phantom. Let's, let's go right into Historic Spells. Historic Artifacts. Okay, this could count. Untap Target Artifact. I mean, this works, I think. Yeah, you know what? Let's go all in. Let's go on with the artifacts. We're going to have to get some artifacts, though. When Sentinel of the Purple Trident, you may exile target historic permanent you control if you do. Okay. You know what? That seems pretty interesting. Black and black. Or black, no, black and blue. Enchant permanent. Uh, Sure. Dark Bargain, don't mind if I do. Demonic Vigor. Befuddle. Arbor Armament. Alright, that seemed pretty decent. I want Mending of Dominaria because it's cool. But, you know, maybe we can't roll it. Okay. <laughs> no big deal. Um, let's take another Rona. Because YOLO also would take this. I feel like uh, this is good. Historic spells you caught you cast cost one less to cast. Mm. When Demon Lord Belzanok enters the battlefield, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non. Okay. I don't know about that one. I'm gonna be honest. Destroy target creature. Eviscerate. It's just good. I think you take it. Oh, come on. You're, you're memeing me, right? I don't even know if taking multiple of them is good, but it's cool, you know? Okay, we got a lot of options here. Put up to one target creature or planeswalker from a graveyard onto the battlefield of your control. Destroy it. Oh, we took this before, and we couldn't use it because we had no legendaries. But we have a lot of legendaries, so, you know. Let's YOLO it up. Rat Colony... Whenever you cast a historic spell, target player puts top cards. Okay, you know what? Sure. See, the problem is we, we run a lot of historic stuff, but we actually need historic cards to make it work. The player discards. Menace. If it was kicked, it enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one tokens. Okay. That seems fine. The spell costs one less to cast if you control a wizard. When it enters the battlefield, return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Do we have wizards? You're an artificer. We don't even have any freaking creatures. Never mind wizards. Yeah. Sure. I'll take this. Lingering phantom. Uh, you know what? I like the sphinx because it's flying. Arcane Flight, Bird Cleric, Draw Two Cards, Rat Colony. Let's take a Rat Colony. We should have been taking other Rat Colonies too, but you know what? For, add blank for each artifact you control named Power Stone Shard. It's going to be a nah from me. Tragic Poet. I, I guess you take Opt. Let's take you, I think. Nah, 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 nah. Sure. Sure. Get this out of here. Alright, we need to pull it together. Eldest Reborn seems pretty good. Vicious Offering. Another Sphinx. Yeah, let's run Eldest Reborn. Hmm. Slin Volda, the Rising Deep. When Slin Volda, the Rising Deep, enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, return all creatures to their owner's hand except for Merfolk, Krakens, Leviathan, Octopuses, and Serpents. No, no, no. Am I the guy that's going to go for a rat colony instead of Slinvolta? You know, you're... I feel like, yeah, meme it up. <clears throat> Sorry, I lost my voice there for a second. I'm feeling like a... I'm feeling like a scholar. I feel like we need more more monsters to round us out. They're not monsters, they're creatures. T time of Ice, actually so good. I, I don't know a lot about this game, but I do know that Time of Ice is real good. Do we go another Chainer's Torment? I don't think we need two of them, I'm gonna be honest. 
Artificer's Assistant. I like it. Slend Volta. No, no, no. Give me more rat cannoli. Cannolis! Give me some rat cannolis! Please? I don't think we need 3B Fuddles, but... You know? You never know if you don't go. Artifact creature gains indestructible versus what? This could be good. We got we have a legendary. Rescue Slim Volta. I don't think we need you. Rescue. Counter target non creature spell. Untap up to three lands. Wow, that seems good, dude. Yes. 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 Alright, this deck sucks. Um, <laughs> no, I, you know, I don't know. I honestly don't know. So, what? Get, get this out of here. This could be fine. I don't like that that much. Hmm. What are we, let's look at our layout. We got 20 creatures, 17 non-creatures, 17 lands. So we cut like three or four creatures at most. I don't know. Befuddle. Eh. Seems okay. Are we going to keep Homrid? We'll take it out for now and we'll see if we want to add it. I like it though. It's really cool. We have three legend, four legendaries, so I think we're going to keep it. Lingering Phantom. Uh, It's basically like you can keep recycling it but i i honestly don't think we need it but what what's our win condition late game you know i don't know i honestly don't know counter target spell is that okay this this is actually so good i think because you can if, if he uses a spell for instance that costs like five and he only has five mana we could literally just use this for zero like, well, one blue. And then he can't counter it because he doesn't have any mana left over. Um, each opponent discards a card. Put target. Yeah, this card. Keep, 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 keep. Dude. Exile target historic. Think about it. We run this plus. Where is it? Excuse me. Where is my card? Ah, here it is. We could run it on the third turn of this and be able to get it back. And I think it resets, but I'm not sure. And then you could time of ice. As long as you control time of ice. Eh, maybe it won't be as good with time of ice. This is still good. Like if you reset it with this. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We only have to cut 10. What's our mana looking like? Okay. I think we're a little too heavy in the fives and the fours maybe. So let's see. Hmm. Take it out for now. This is always the worst part for me because I, I don't know what I'm doing. When Rona enters the battlefield, you may exile from your graveyard. I feel like this is good to keep, right? But do we need three of them? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it'll mean we'll get them, we'll get them pretty much every, every single time, you know? Enchant permanent has hexproof. <laughs> that would be really good with Rona. So I think you keep it. I think you keep it. Yes, I ghost. Do we need three rat colonies? I think. I don't know, dude. I like it. It's cool. You get to have a bunch of double little boys. And you know, I like little boys. No, that's not. That's not funny. 
I don't think we need that. We're kind of heavy cost, but not too much, right? 16 creatures. Now we need to cut cut some of this shit. Sorry, this stuff. Eh, I don't think we need it. Don't need it. I like opt. Every time I see opt, it makes me feel like I wish I had opt. Opted for winning. What? What does that even mean? Four cards. Put up to one target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the bottom of battlefield under your control. Destroy up to one target creature or planeswalker exile. I don't know. This seems really good. I don't think you got out to get rid of it. I'm thinking of getting rid of Trainer's Torment. But I don't know. It just seems good. Get it on turn 4 and on turn 7 you have a 10-10, 12-12, 11-11, something like that. Hmm. I don't know, dude. I always make the mistake of cutting a land. But we're going to have to cut some shit that we don't want to. Let's let's get over that. If we're going to keep 17 land no matter what, we need 23 cards, which means we need to either, we need to cut some shit. Is opt really that useful? It's a free draw with a scry, though. This is good with Rat Colony. Do we cut this and all Rat Colonies? I don't know, dude. I think people in chat, if I had a chat, would be like, cut cut the F in Rat Colonies. But there would be other people that are like, I love the rats. You know? I don't know, man. I'm thinking we gotta cut the rats. Whew, that was tough. That was tough for me. I hope it was as tough for me as it was for you. But now we only have 13 creatures. So let's get rid of... Um... Don't at me. Wait. Cut and opt. Okay. You know, I'm sad. I wish I had rats. That's the name of the deck. Um, and who's going to be our big boy? We can run with Rona, but I, I don't know how I'm going to make a good thumbnail with Rona. Who's got the best Rona? <laughs> who's got the best Rona? That doesn't make any sense. You know, I'm feeling like you do something maybe a little controversial. You make the rats the name. Okay. <sighs> Let's see how this goes boys We're gonna load that up if we feel like we need more monstrinos some more creaturinos We're fighting then denial denial if we feel like we need more monsters. We'll we'll figure it out This looks like a keep to me in my opinion, so Get an early flyer. Ooh, this is nice. I haven't seen this a little pass turn button. Lots been updated. Oh my god. Yes. Give me that bad boy. No attacks. How could he do this to us? He took my deck. He took my freaking deck. Well, he, I mean... We're running black and black and blue and red all over. He's running black and red and red all bluer. Okay. Enchant permanent. Wait, this card kind of sucks. Gosh dang it. I don't think this is good. <laughs> Hmm. 
Whatever. We'll figure it out. We could if we need if we get one black, we can do Rona and then Curator's Wandum. Attack me. I dare you. Nah nah nah. Confirm zero. Oh wait. Confirm one. Get wrecked, son? Get wrecked, sonny? No. Deal your damage. That's what I thought. Okay, I would like a black mana, please. I would like a black mana. <laughs> oh, please. Please give me. <laughs> okay. Oh, how could you? Sacrifice a goblin. Don't talk to me. Excuse me. Uh, you know what? Uh, nobody's gonna like this move, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You got to get, you got to get that draw going. Trade. You son of a gun. Black plus, black plus. Danielle. Oh no. What? You may discard a card if you do draw a card. Why did? Oh, he sacrificed himself. Hmm, interesting. Interesting maneuver. Leaves the battlefield. Oh, this is actually an interesting combo. You ready for this? I'm going to show you something you wish you didn't know. I hate you. Yeah, boy. Look at that. Look at these plays. We got maneuverability up the wazoo. Was who? Who? Don't stop doing this. I don't like these big men. We have little men. Keep doing your your worst. Oh lordy. Okay, let's see. Let's try something here. Okay, I respect it. I think that might have been the smart move. We may need to start not attacking with the sparring construct though, so he can destroy it and we gain damage. Because we're slowly losing. We're getting whittled away. Oh, let's go. That one. Please. Hell yeah, bud. Give me that scry. Ha we need it. We need it. Tap a creature, a target, a opponent controls. It doesn't untap. It, it's. Don't do it. You son of a gun. He used my own card against me. Oh, we should have attacked with Sentinel, to be honest. But whatever. If Keldon attacks, we destroy him with Sentinel. Keldon sounds like a Pokemon. I'm pretty sure it is a Pokemon. Whatever, man. Whittle me. Alright, let's see. Let's go this first. I know it seems a little greedy, but I have faith. I'm willing to attack with Cabal Paladin too, but I don't know actually. 
Tell me if, uh, if anybody's watching this, let me know what I'm doing wrong, like, intricately. If you want to be a sassafras and, and be rude about it too, I'm down. Be as rude as you'd like. Buff him. I dare you. That's what I thought. At least I didn't take the damage. Mmm, destroy target creature. I don't think we need it yet. Target player. I feel like we got something here. We got some interesting deck. But we don't have any historics in our... Whoops. We need to keep this all. Slowly whittle and pretend like you're running a black green deck. Oh no. That's fine. What would we want to destroy? I think we want to destroy the Arcanist. As sad as it is. Because he's just... He's withering us away! At least with the Keldon, we have options. We have options. It's your turn, Daniel. Denail. Oh, what's your favorite Isaac item? Uh, the nail? You like that? If you're listening with headphones, right? It's kind of freaky, huh? Nah, nah, nah. Ooh, whoa. Get him out of here. Rona, you'll have to wait. Nope. Keep, keep on one attack at a time. And honestly, I would defend Keldon with Arona if I need to. Because then I could just Rona the Rona. You know what I'm saying? You could just Rona the Rona. And confuse him. If, if he sees Rona, Rona Arona, then he'll have to surrender. Like, that's just the name of the game. I hate this. I hate this so much. Get him out of here. I don't even want to see him. Okay. All right, I want to see him. Ugh. God dang it. We'll have to... I don't know, man. We'll have to have another eviscerate or something. I don't think we do. I don't think we have another removal. How are we supposed to make bread without removal? Let me take a sippy sippy. Mmm. Dude, that was, that was actually the best card we could have gotten. I'm not even lying. Nah, I don't need it. I feel very good about this. No attackers. We're starting to pull back the veil. You know, this guy's walking into Wonderland. Oh, no. He's walking, not Wonderland. He's walking into Oz. And we pull back the veil. Playing one will have, make you sacrifice the other one? I didn't know that. Yeah, let's do it. It may seem dumb, but... Get that out of here. I think it's smart. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> I thought I thought I did something smart, but I think I did something dumb. I wanted to I wanted this to work, you know? Exiled with Rona. Oh, interesting. Well, that stinks. I don't even think we can dark bargain. To be honest. Which is very stinky. Oh no! I can't block. 
How could I do such a thing? Smart. Smart man. Not as smart anymore. Lamau. I don't need it. I don't need a third one. I'm, I'm actually going to cut some of these because I didn't know that was the interaction. Ugh, I can't. I literally can't. This is hilarious. Sure. Okay. Now if we attack with all of them. Not yet. Do not attack yet. I, I give us like a 2% chance of winning this. I give us a 0? Zero, a 0% chance of winning this? We need to rethink our strats. <laughs> Alright. We have a lot of things that work with historics. Not a lot of historics. Okay. Give, get, get, get out of here. You weirdos. We need more historics. So. Give me rat colonies. Give me a rescue. Get rid of the rat colonies again. Uh... Is this an instant? It is an instant. And let's take let's take the Phantom, because late game we just had no big monsters. Okay. Wait, cancel. Time has has run short. That'll do it for this episode. I th I think we we have the tools. Like we are a we're a, a amateur builder. You give us the best power saw in the game and our, our first time using it we uh we hit we hit a nail and it goes <laughs> all messes up but it's okay because it since it's the best power tool in the game you just reload it back up you hit the <laughs> and you, you cut through another piece of wood you know what i'm saying all right thanks for watching i'll power tool power tool your dad That's it.